Dealer secretly hid something in a fire hydrant. Unsuspecting firefighters happened to come for a routine check. Little did they know that this action could have cost them their lives. It wasn't long before the fire station was suddenly shot at. Luckily, there were no casualties. But when the police asked the firefighters if they had offended anyone, everyone was full of questions. So for safety's sake, the police could only offer some token protection to the fire station. But the attentive Matt spotted the problem. Three punks were at the fire hydrant. Their boss was also on the roadside. Matt guessed the reason for the attack on the fire station. At the same time, a bold idea came to mind. Matt decided to confirm his suspicions, so he witnessed how the men were using the fire hydrant to make a deal. Matt appeared with his hands in his pockets in front of the punks. He said he wanted to see their boss. The man saw that he was sincere, so he took him back to headquarters. Matt clearly said he saw them hiding drugs, but the fireman clearing the fire hydrant didn't know. And we all live in the same community. If that shooting really did kill the firefighters who work every day to protect the community, if something did happen to your family, do you think we should care or not? The boss was speechless. Matt finished and left. But as soon as this was over, something new happened. The firefighters were just about to call it a day. Suddenly a teenager shouted for help. It turned out to be two brothers playing hide and seek. The older brother had gone into the laundry aisle and got stuck in it by accident. And what's worse, the boy had twisted his neck and could hardly breathe immediately confirmed the location of the rescue. They had to open up the entire wall. Then they found the right spot and prepared to cut the pipe. But just at that moment, the boy's mother came back. She saw her little boy in tears. She was puzzled. When she saw her son's body twisted and curled up in the narrow pipe, the mother was almost frightened. Roy immediately went to comfort her. It was only when the woman regained her senses. She told her young son to go home first. Then she couldn't hold back her tears. The boy was soon rescued, but he was already in shock. The firefighters immediately took him to the hospital for resuscitation. But unfortunately, the boy could not be rescued. The woman expressed her gratitude to the firefighters and gave them a photo. It turned out that the boy had visited the fire station just a few days before. His dream was to become a fireman. So Roy felt the need to do something for the dead man. The next day, a funeral procession passed through the street in front of the fire station. The men had come to bid the boy farewell. It seems they had a conscience after all. As the motorcade slowly passed by, the mother and young son suddenly looked out of the window. The entire fire station staff, standing in their police uniforms in the snow and wind. Resort! Arms! They slowly raised their hands. Not only did they express their condolences, but also to escort the boy on his final journey. Firefighters are one of the most dangerous professions in the world to which we are all closely related. They are also the ones who touch us the most. In any country, firefighters will always be a sacred and a respectable profession. Stay tuned for another video update tomorrow.